Hello everyone, I'm Red Herring, I'm here to distract you. Welcome back to my Football Manager 2023 series, non-league to top league. Today we've got Arsenal in the Champions League and Real, uh, Real Madrid and Atletico Madrid at ho away in the Serie A. This video might come out a bit later than usual because uh, I'm literally filming it tonight. Night is coming out. So let's get along with this quickly as I can and get it out for you. So let's play Arsenal first. Um, we are taking a bit of a risk by playing a very young player there. Um, other than that, the major changes have been because of injuries or suspensions, and because for some reason I was a complete numpty and forgot to register Neo in the Champions League squad, which I do not understand how I did that, but I did. Um, yeah. So let's just get into this game and see if we can get a good result. I'm not expecting it because I have had to come off and save the game. So the AI realise that and they will make, mass, they make us lose. Even though, as you've seen, we have been in quite good form. Um, we are playing a 4-1-2-1-2. And Arsenal are playing a 4-3-3. And Alonso is not even starting. So let's skip that and get straight into it. Right, first highlight is with us. Osby whips it in. Off oh, the bar. Tackling, they can get a tackle, but Monopoly should pick that up. All right, not a bad start. Not expecting to win. I know it's not an easy, it's not an easy game. I just don't want to lose or absolutely get battered because I know Arsenal are good, but so are we, and we're in good form. We just beat Real Madrid. We seem to always get into the quarterfinals or the semi-finals. Alright, not much more has happened, does it, since that first highlight. Let's just do a bit of encouragement. Alright, highlight Arsenal. Alright. Building from the back. Right. Get that header and Monopoly, good. Not best clearance, but it's right. Juno's got it. Let's give it to Deluca. Deluca running down line. Nice ball into Alessandro. Nice ball into the young striker. Striker attacker midfielder. And Formosa has scored. He squeezed that in under the keeper. Didn't look like the best of shots, to be honest with you. Nice pass there. Formosa. Formosa keeps her. Keeper could have probably done a bit better than that. Because he is a decent goalkeeper. Do we need to see it again? Okay, we do. Just to check he is onside. And we are 1 0 up. <laughs> so that point this, that's on joint point to Arsenal. Uh, Osby. Oh, save from their keeper. Corner kick. Osby with a corner. Whips it in near post. Oh, cleared away. Sir, that guy's an ex-Tottenham player. Right. He's an ex-player, isn't he? I think he used to play for Frankfurt. Right. Oh, he hasn't got the pace of you, Alessandro. Lucky, mate. It's alright. Push him out wide. Push him out. That's a poor, poor defensive performance. Good clearance off the line, Monopoly. That's not over the line. Like I said, they're never over the line. DeLuca is died. What's happened to DeLuca? Why is it not saying he's injured anywhere else? Let's take him off now, because is he's probably just went full on dead, didn't he? If you watched him. Doing well, uh, as soon as we're at home. Um, so, just say I'm good, delighted with the performance so far because we're on top. Not really seen much from them. Bit of like a, an 
evenly matched game, isn't it? I know we are slightly head edging it on the the shots and stuff, but we are the home side. But yeah, I've come back a bit early. Then I was hoping to um, just need to get this video out for you tonight. Um, like I said, it's probably going to be a bit later than the six. It'll probably be more at seven. Um, hopefully you don't mind that. So you're not having a very good game, but I'm going to leave you on for now because nothing too bad has happened and fitness is all right. Also, I haven't threatened us too much. Maybe I spoke too soon. And Alonso looks like he's on. Get a tackle. Oh, just over the bar. Alonso is on. Osby, nice ball in. Over the top. From um, Gratos. Gratos. Right, e fitness wise, you, so we can bring DeMartin on. No one else is really tiring. You, Pedro, you've come on and not really done a lot of you. You're tiring, well not tiring, you're not playing amazing, so let's bring the young Portuguese speedster out on that right hand side, he might get, a, get us a second goal. Um, but are we going to sneak out 1-0 with a 1-0 win? Yes, we do, I'll take that, I will take that. <laughs> No, it wasn't going to be an easy game, but we have definitely deserved it overall. And our good form continues. So, keeps us up around the top, which is what I wanted. Win our home games. Um, and maybe not um, if we do lose our away games to decent teams, that is fine. Um, but we will have Milan next. I think even away against Celtic, we probably should win that, really. Um, I hope we win both the next Champions League game. But Milan is up next. Uh, it's only a few days away. Um, so I'll see you at the start of the Milan game. Hello, and welcome back to the second game of today's episode, which is away against Milan in the Serie A. Uh, Inter have just drew against Roma. And Juventus have just lost again. So a victory today would be absolutely fantastic. Only change to the lineup is Brian's came in for De Luca because De Luca's injured. Uh, and we've brought Neo back in because he he is good. We need to start him in the league. I'm so annoyed. So, so annoyed we couldn't register him for the Champions League. And I don't understand how I missed him in the Champions League. But let's hopefully just get through to the next stage and then we can re-register him from there. Uh, I don't know if anyone of you quickly noticed that there. Wayne Rooney is now the Milan manager, and they are playing a 4 3 3. Um, we are sticking to our 4 1 2 1 2. I actually didn't look at their form um, that they were in. Um, but we are currently in second, and they are in fourth. So they must be in decent form. Um, we know they're a good team. But I'm pretty sure we are better. First side is with us, and Neo has it. Tries to find Monopoly, who flicks on. Oh, and that looks like a stupid tackle from the Milan player. That's got, surely that's a penalty. Yeah. Right, Coddy steps up. And he puts it away. Thought he might have, the keeper might have saved that, but Coddy is continuing to bang in goals. Looks really good along with uh, Alessandro up front. Lorenzo, Coddy, whatever you want to call him. I've been calling him Coddy. Um, it does look really good. Good tackle there. Young midfield, attack midfielder. Looks a bit out of place with his stats, but he's doing a good job. That was a poor pass from the centre back. Good check. Tracking back from midfield. And Coddy there, oh, do a move a bit quicker. Lovely ball through. Keeper, good save. Luso, you need to move a little bit quicker than that, mate. Don't seem to be on it today if, with that first few couple of movements there. Not moving the ball quick enough. 
big games like this, you need to move the ball good. How have we kept that out? That's amazing how we've kept that out. It was a good save from the keeper and a good clearance off the line. I didn't see which defender cleared off the line. Right, Monopoly to Juno. Monopoly again. Passes it through to the centre backs. It's out to Brian out on this left hand side. He's got a bit of pace and can run with the ball nicely. I've seen him. But he's sensible, plays it back. Into Juno. Neo. Juno's got it back. And again, nice bit of passing from the centre backs to Juno. Monopoly could have played it down the line. Doesn't, plays it back. It looks a bit of a risky pass. That's an awful pass from the centre back. Need to keep it to be at its best. Oh, good defending and covering. Mm, bit worried about you there, right centre back. You've been playing well and keeping Guy out, but a bit more of that, and you might be out of the team. Can we score a cracking free kick. Ah, no one really followed up. See, he's done two terrible passes, and his rating's not dropped right down, is it? I've literally just physically watched him do two terrible passes. Oh, looks like Brian's picked up a knock. Because his fitness just plummeted. Let's see how he gets on. Alright, go on. Stay with him, Coddy. Good header away. Out to him, out to him. Ah, bollocks. A draw is not a bad result, but it's frustrating when it's a goal like this and you don't see us score many goals like that. <laughs> see if Brian can hold out the game. His fitness is starting to creep back up. Not really seen a lot from us in this game, but. Oh, Monopoly, come on, mate. Juno. Alright. Nice bit of pass. Neo, lovely pass. Young. Coddy. In the post. Oh, Codster. Codster. Don't let them score. Monopoly looks like he's picked up a knock. That's, oh, I'm looking on the wrong side. Yeah, both full backs. So. Well, I'm going to leave Brian on because his fitness isn't best, but he's saying he's not injured. But Monopoly is, so we're we'll taking Monopoly off. Not happy with that, though. Get out there. See if the young Portuguese lad can come on on that right hand side and bomb up that wing like he, I see him do. Maybe put some decent balls into the box. Get tackles in, get tackles in. No, you can keep up with him, I know you can. No. Oh, good clearance. Out to him, out to him, out to him, out to him. Out to him. Oh, save. Offside, offside, please, please be offside. Because if. None of my stupid twat players got to that before he did. Oh, fucking. How have you not got there, guys? First off, why is no one closing him down? Oh. Fucking bollocks. I took a big fucking Neo up and he's having an absolute nightmare game. One of you. Jesus Christ. Don't let him score third. Oh, fuck off. Fuck off. Oh, well done, dickheads. Well done, dickheads. You've lost this one now. We ain't going to score two more goals. We ain't going to score two more goals. Uh, 
fucking Neo. Both midfielders are just playing shit. Let's just take him out. Let's just take him out. They're both playing shit. Brian's knackered, but you're not much better to bring on. So I'll leave it a bit longer. We're going full on attack, even though that doesn't fucking do anything lately. And we're breaking because this is shit. I know Milan are a decent side, but I still thought we were better than Milan. And that's given us our first loss of the season, where I finally thought we might be able to go back on top and above Inter. We have just fucked this up, big style. Don't make us lose more than 3-1. We do not deserve to lose more than 3-1. They're not that much better than us, game. Don't take the piss. Honestly, don't take the piss. Because you don't let us take the piss out of teams. Alessandro is not really showing up in some of the games, so you wanted more game time. If you can come on and score two goals, you can start a bit more often then. Uh, I don't see us getting one back, to be honest with you. This is annoying. How's the goalkeeper played at a 6.3? I tell you, I show you his form. He has not played below a 6.6 .6 in the last 10 games. I say, don't you dare let them score a fourth. They do not deserve a fourth. If anything, we probably deserved a second. They probably didn't even deserve their third. Uh, they didn't even play that fucking well. I've seen us play better than this, and we've only just scraped a 1 0 win or 2 1 win. Ball is being thrown, I don't care. It's not a good enough result. Don't care. Still not a good enough result. We are better than Milan. We are that. Milan aren't that good. Milan are not that good. And now we've let them catch us. And we could have took fucking full advantage of fucking Juventus losing as well. Ah, it's a bit frustrating. That is a bit frustrating. 3-1 as well. Didn't deserve free against us. Uh, that is shit. That is shit. Oh, well. Oh, well. I have to just get on with it. Don't think it's going to be our season this season. I was quite conf confident um, before this. And I thought we should easily deal with Milan like we have for the last four se three seasons. It's not going to be our year this year again. And I think we're going to end this series with not able to get the Champions League with Lazio, I think. So, anyway, thank you for watching. Please don't forget to like, leave a comment, and subscribe. And I'll catch you again soon.